Hi everyone, my name is Greg Eleferiu, I'm a composer, producer and a guitarist. In this video I'll share with you some guitar exercises, but in an interesting way I think. I randomly picked five exercises through my files and I have no idea what they're all about. It can be easy exercises, it can be advanced exercises, intermediate exercises, anything, and they can be about any guitar technique. I'm going to read those exercises after many years maybe, right in front of you, and of course I'll share them with you. So let's dive into the very first exercise. Okay, it says sweep picking. <laughs> I haven't played sweep picking since I was in the kindergarten, but let's read it. Um, wait, ta ta ta. -da. It's the same it's the same thing actually and the same thing happens from here so it's a three string pattern that has a legato and this is where the sweep happens those small three three string shapes are very convenient and they're different shapes a minor seventh shape but then it gets a sixth shape you have different finger combinations so you 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 work on the on the left hand as well as the right hand let's play this exercise so the second exercise says fretting Quarter notes. So it's it's actually four chords, right? First one. You really practice this hand's position. I think it's better if you do it uh, slowly and if you form a chord at the end of each bar, like. Right now, every note sounds on top of the other. So that, that's the exercise. Now let's play it uh, with the backing track, which is something you can play along to as well. So let's move on to the next one, which says finger style. Let's read it. <laughs> ah. Vibes. It's actually a four chord thing. Uh, pretty typical, but it has some very nice voicings. The flippered like the challenge is on the left hand as well like you have to place your hands very vertical so that the open strings are going to be heard as well now let's play it along with the backing track which is something you can do too So let's move on to the next one and let me get my pick from the floor. Uh, it says vibrato and it goes like this. Okay. So it practices doing a very controlled vibrato with every finger. On your left hand. The vibrato should be very rhythmical. Let's play it with the backing track, which is something that you can do too.
Nice! Let's move on to the next one. And the last one says topping. Too many notes and too many things to read. It's only one string. Good thing. Let's find the button. Ah. Okay. So uh, until now, it does this thing, which is keeping the right hand steady and moving the left hand. And then the other way around. That's what it does. And it does it throughout the exercise. You can do the tapping with your first finger or with your second finger if you want to keep your pick on your hand. Let's play this exercise along with the backing track, which is something you can do too. And I'm going to crank up my distortion a bit. These are the exercises of this video's mystery box. You can play and you can practice these exercises on my web shop or my Patreon page where you can get both the tabs sheet music along with the backing tracks so you can uh, enjoy it as much as I did right now. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments which exercise inspired you the most or which technique is the one that you'd like to work on the most and let's discuss guitar and music in general so thank you very much for watching this video see you next time